binary gap is a maximal sequence of consecutive zeros that is surrounded by ones at both ends in a binary representation of n. All right, and we want to find that maximal sequence. So let's say we have n is 1041. And the first thing we want to do is obviously find a binary representation of n, first of all. So we can use bin of n for that, except that, let's see, print bin num. We're going to get this 0b in the beginning. So this is the binary representation, except that. So all we need to do is remove this first part. So we can replace 0b, comma, like this. Um, let's see. Then what we want to do is when we have the binary representation, what we can do is that we know that it will always start with a one. And then we can simply check what is the, uh, the the number and the amount of zeros until we hit a one and then we update the the biggest gap to be in this case five and then we start over check again how many do we have in this case and then check is that better than the the current biggest gap so we can have a current gap Right, when we're here, we're going to count one, two, and then three, and then we're going to do to end this one, and but we're not going to update the biggest gap because the biggest gap will be five in this case. So current gap zero, biggest gap zero. Then we just iterate through binary num and we check if it is a one. And also, if so, this could be the case. So, when we hit the one here, then we need to check is it is the current gap larger than the biggest gap? This won't be true for the first one, right? Then we set biggest gap to current gap, and then also set. set current gap to zero if it's not one that means it's a zero and then just add one to current gap and then the at the end we want to return the biggest gap that should be it i think if you want to be on the safe side for checking if for example if n is an, a negative number then you can do if n is less than uh, less than zero Raise some exception. Uh, input should be positive. And let's say if it's not an integer, so if someone inputs a string, if it's not an integer, then raise value error. Input should be an integer. Whoa. Oh, if not, is instance, right? And then we get five, which is the correct. So if you, this should give a test score of 100, at least when I checked. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about this or if you have any ideas on how to improve this code right here.